In this exercise, we're going to practice if statements and while loops by writing a simple game where the computer generates a random number between 1 and 100, and we attempt to guess it. So let's go ahead and write nano guess my number dot java so that we can start building our program. The first thing we're going to do is import a scanner, import java.util.scanner, then we're going to declare our class, public class guess my number. Then inside of our class, we'll write our main method, public static void main now that we've done this we can start declaring our values so we'll build a scanner here scanner in is equal to new scanner system dot in and we're going to need a number here the computer is going to have to generate a number now fortunately there's a uh, object or a class in Java that allows you to generate random numbers and it's uh, the math class. Math class has a method built into it called random so if we use random so let's just go ahead and try that we'll try uh, system.out.println math.random and let's go ahead and we'll compile this just so we can see Java C guess my number dot Java Java guess my number and every time we run this we're gonna get a new random number what that actually is going to be is a floating point number between 0 and 1 so you can see here whatever this is it's gonna be some random number between 0 and 1 uh, and using a floating point number between 0 and 1 we can actually obtain a pretty broad spectrum of integers so if we go back to our program nano guess my number dot Java and we want to generate a random number that's an integer between 1 and 100, we can actually say int my number is equal to math.random times 100. And what that will do is give us a random number between 0 and 1, and then we'll multiply that by 100. So that will give us, what we'll end up with is actually a floating point number at this point that's between 0 and 99 with some decimal point. So the problem there is one, that's going to be a floating point number and we can't assign that to an integer. So we need to cast it to an int. So we'll cast that. But the other problem now is that we may end up with a zero here. So we need to add one to it. So now what we'll have is a f integer between one and 100. And we can go ahead and test this. Print my number. And if we compile then we run it you'll see here we get a number that's between 1 and 100 and we could run this a lot of times and eventually you'll get all the numbers alright so now that we've generated a number we can tell the user system.out.println I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100 system.out.println can you guess it System. Just for consistency, we'll go ahead and print another line after this just to provide some separation and make our output a little bit more readable. So now we're going to use a while loop. Now first we need a guess. So we're going to say guess is equal to negative 1 because we the user hasn't guessed anything yet. So let's go ahead and we'll say while guess is not equal to my number, what we're going to do is have the user input a number system.out.println what is your guess and then we'll get the next value guess is equal to in dot read line or I'm sorry in dot next int read line will give us a string we want an integer value here so if we ran this now it actually wouldn't be the greatest game in the world if we can run this Java C guess my number Java guess my number. Uh, well, we'll say 30? No, 31, 32, 33. This is going to take a long time. So this isn't really the greatest game. We want the computer to give us a little bit more information. So we will go ahead and add in some clarification, some hints here in our while statement. So we're going to start off with an if statement. If guess is greater than my number well if the user's guess is greater than my number then we know that the user has to go lower so we'll say system.out.println no my number 
is lower. So this is a little bit better, but we can do even better than that. We can actually tell the user, we can, we can tell the user if it's higher too. Else, if guess is less than my number, system.out.println, yes, or no. <laughs> no, my number is higher. Else, well, if it's not higher than or lower than, it's got to be the number. So system.out.println, you guessed it. So now, if we output our program, we run it, and let's go ahead and compile it first and then run it. Java, guess my number. Uh, let's guess 80. Well, it's lower, so let's guess, say, 30. It's lower than that even. Let's say 10. Higher. Mm, 20? 15? Lower than that. 13? 12? All right, so we were able to guess that number. So you can use the, you can run this over and over again, and the program is always going to generate a different random number, uh, and it will continue to give you hints until you guess it. So just to review the code, we're first creating a scanner and then generating this random number between 1 and 100. Then we're outputting some prompts to the user. We're assuming that the user's guess is wrong to start off. And we're using a while loop to continue to guess until the user guesses the right number. We're asking the user for a new guess. We're getting that value. And then we're checking. We want to see if it's, if it's too high so we can tell the user that it's lower. We want to see if it's too low so we can tell the user that it should be higher or we're telling the user when they've guessed the number. So this should give you a rough idea of how to use a while loop, how to evaluate some basic logic, and how to use these if-else statements to, uh, to determine you know, what some values are. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice your coding.